Today, it's both a tragedy and a comedy, depending on your point of view. You know, this odd-looking gap you sometimes see between a bodybuilder's ab muscles, like in this pic here. The ab split is genetic, okay? Certain people just seem to be born with some uh, degree of separation in this area, as we can uh, quite clearly see in a 19-year-old Lee Haney, right? Uh, we can be rest assured that he was not taking growth hormone or insulin or any of these other drugs. That And here he is at the end of his reign in 1991, next to a young Dorian Yates. And as you can see, that distinct split is still there. It may have even widened ever so slightly. But then again, if it did, the difference is negligible. We're talking about Ronnie Coleman. But here in his younger days, you can notice that the gap is barely visible at all. But now let's jump ahead to 1998. And whoa, what have we here? The gap has widened considerably. The sea has parted, his abs are migrating apart like continental drift. He is again in 1999, clearly displaying a gap, uh, which now appears to be at least a centimeter wider than it used to be. And by 2004, you know, it's become undeniable what's going on. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison, and you'd, be, you'd have to be blind or just a fanboy in denial to not acknowledge the difference here. Dennis James also had it. So you can see there in 99, at the beginning of his pro career in 2006. But fast forward to 2011, and oh, okay, now, uh, looks like the uh, migration is underway. And by 2013, it's gotten even worse. Uh, still it is Rolly Winkler, as we can see here at the 2009 Arnold Classic Amateur Contest. Here in 2014, the gap is still there, and it hasn't really grown much, to be honest. Um, so Rolly may kind of be an exception to the rule on this. And lastly, one final guy I'm going to show you who has an ab split like no other, and this is Dallas McCarver. In his early 20s, looking more like a physique competitor than an Olympia-level bodybuilder, and still, this is a gap to rival Ronnie Coleman's in his prime. By 2017, it did. I mean, those abs have shifted so much, looking like he's trying to give birth in midair with that distended belly sticking out. Okay, so this diagram pretty much sums it up. Yeah, so it turns out there's actually a medical term for this condition, and it's called diastasis rectum. Looks like most of these bodybuilders fall under the open diastasis category. I wouldn't directly blame the drugs like insulin or growth hormone, although they certainly contribute to the, to the development of an ab-splitting bubble gut. But I know it uh, looks like bodybuilding has become even more of a freak show than most of us ever realized.